we've just gotten started here, and already these guys have been handed up. One thing this team's gonna need is some leaders, and they've got one right here. Excellent selection. Just what this team needs to maybe get him over the hump. Oh, no need to worry about this guy. Just plug him right to the starting role, and he'll be a massive upgrade. So, with a handful of starters already nailed down, you have to ask yourself, do you dare go for depth, or do you just try to cover as many? Two words here, difference, Baker. That's what that pick right there is. And there's a pick that does fill a hole, but I'm not sure that it's really gonna be the one that improves the overall squad a tremendous amount. Definitely some options with this pick. Do you take a skill player here or get yourself some help up front?
You can before it's too late. So there you go, you've wrapped up your first draft. From where I sit, it looks like a pretty good squad, but now it's time to prove it. Take a moment to modify your lineup if you'd like, or if you're ready to roll. begins today. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Draft Champions. The patrons interplay this afternoon, ready to see what they've got and how or if these pieces are going to fit together. Their opponents in this one, the Chicago Bears. Thank you, Larry. So the picks are in. We welcome you to this Draft Champions contest. I'm Brandon Gaud, along with Charles Davis, ready to call the action. And let's get to it. Down to the field. It's time for kickoff. And it's the birth of a new club as we're underway in draft champions. On the return, here's a speedy Jamison Crowder. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. They come out here in the eye. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Two Patriots there to bring him down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down following the run. To throw on second, McNabb. And his throw here's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And now it's third down. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Let's go! From the gun, here's McNabb. Down. It's a Patriots sack. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. So on fourth down, here's Brad Nortman on to punt it away. This is taken around the 12. Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Thank you. 
So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. And they're let out by the number one overall pick back in the 2001 draft. He's been around a while. The lefty, Michael Vick. Early in his career, all we focused on with Michael Vick was his athleticism because he made some eye-popping plays along the way. Now, as a veteran, he understands better how to manage the game and really has a great work ethic about wanting to be an NFL quarterback. A jump off now to Hill. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be first down New England. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And that'll bring up second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. And the offense lining up first and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Willie Sneed there to make the grab. And the Pats have taken the early lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. it to make it 7-0 Patriots. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. This one fielded at the five. bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line and now the Bears coming out as they get ready and the last drive the first drive for them not very good three and out what do they go to here well you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is and let's find out who my playmakers are get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number Exactly. For the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> we know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So second and ten here.
They run. Devontae Freeman. And he's going to be met at the lot of scrimmage and taken down. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Freeman, the lone man in the backfield. McNabb to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Here's Brad Nordman now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is brought in at the 21. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in the touchdown looks pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. But when it comes to the running game, the New England Patriots, they're one of the few teams in the NFL that I don't think care much about balancing things out. <laughs> Last year, to your point, fifth in passing yardage, number 30 in the run game. What they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent, not so much their own personnel, and they try to attack that way. The Bears have put an extra defender in the secondary on third down. Yep, they're in the nickel. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. We're back with more Draft Champions on EA Sports. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They go play action here on first down. Caught right side, Gresham. They'll get 17 yards there. And it gives the Pats a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Now a first down carry, it's Hill. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's gonna go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Partner, I know that play didn't work very well, but an old New York Giants quarterback taught me a lesson a long time ago. Sometimes running the draw actually takes courage and play calling. You're actually setting something up for later in the game, and just because it was unsuccessful then doesn't mean it won't be successful later. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Jeremy Hill taking it in. And the Patriots add six to their lead. 
Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Santos now to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Jeremy Hill touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. A chance for us to get a glance at this Patriots defense. They were able to force the three and out last time, led to the punt, and then led to a touchdown for their crew. So they'll be looking for a little bit more of that, Charles. Well, I think that they created the spark with the three and out. Gave a little momentum to their offense. They say, all right, appreciate it, guys. And they took the ball downfield and stuck it in the end zone. And that defense wasn't out there long. They'll be trying to keep it short here. First down, it's McNabb. Catch here, left side, Thomas. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Throw on second, McNabb. It's caught by Quincy Anunua. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Third down, Devontae Freeman. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. And, partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play, only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 18. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here comes Michael Vick now leading his offense back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And Gresham has it left side. And he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more after this. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before that. Looking to throw. Caught by Sneed over the middle. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Let's go! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got a man. It's Corey Coleman. And all the way in. Touchdown! 
touchdown, New England. Corey Coleman, 33 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Come on, let's go. Grand 38. Second down, McNabb. Crowder's got it over the middle. That catch good for five. It's third down. So completion on second down. That brings up third. And quickly they get to the line. From the gun, here's McNabb. Finding time. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Here's Brad. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And it's fielded at the 34. He won't go down. <laughs> A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Here comes Michael Vick now leading his offense back out there. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now and hear him calling for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. Let's go! They'll try and start this drive in the air. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll take it down shy of 45 at the 46. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be a second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. Sneed's got it, and he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This just a 24-yard attempt. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we will send you eastward to Orlando and Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Patriots take it at the one. Vic's got the connection on the slant, and it's caught for the score. They strike first in the half. Patriots take it at the one. Vic's going to complete the pass, and he counts off the seven-play drive with the score. Patriots up now by 14. Patriots lined up at the 33. Coleman's by himself here, and nobody can stop him on this long touchdown. Patriots go up by 21. Patriots have it at the 35. The pass will be caught over the middle, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the seven-yard line. Patriots will stall out and settle for a field goal. So that'll do it from our studios in Orlando for the second-half kickoff. Let's get you back out west to Santa Clara and Brandon Guy. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. Be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It's a gain of 20 that time. And that's good for a New England first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So the offense has it first and 10. Let's go! From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Out on the right, this is Cruz. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And a nice little pass and catch there on the corner route. Set up very well by the receiver with a head and shoulder fake inside before he comes back downhill to his quarterback. And now a first down following that long game. Let's go! From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Caught right side, it's Snead. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's... And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Victor Cruz from a yard out. And the Patriots are pouring it on. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, 
That should have been done in Big Sky Country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now the point after try for Santos. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now it's Crowder. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now we get a look at the captain of this offense heading back out there now. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Out of the gun, McNabb. And that is incomplete. Thomas, the intended target. And that brings up fourth down. Here's Brad Nortman now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retake those ankles. A great return there, bobbing and weaving his way for 31 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On the ground, this is Hill. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. There goes Jeremy Hill. And the way in. Touchdown, New England. Jeremy Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots continue to roll. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Santos now to add...
PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Now it's Crowder. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But we'll see all the adage. When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And that's another stop for the defense. Something we've seen all game long, they have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Freeman again. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bobby Wagner able to drop it for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. We have played three quarters. We will return with more of Draft Champions on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. And he takes this thing down deep into Chicago territory. Oftentimes, guys who do a really nice job on the wide receiver screen plays, a really good punt returners. It's the same skill. Make the first guy miss and then pick up your blocking and get downfield. Nice gain on that play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. This is Hill. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. He lost two, and it brings up four. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. 
so it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. They got the stop last time that resulted in a punt, and then it resulted in three for their offense. And this is one time where the defense won't get credit for creating points, but that's exactly what they did. All right, forced them into a punt, turned it over to their offense. And guess what? Points went on the board. Points went on the board, three of them. Now they'll be looking for another stop. On first down, it's McNabb. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Now the point after try for Santos. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. affecting him today. Normally, he knows exactly when to get rid of the football, but today, because he's been hit a few times, he's getting rid of it a little bit too quickly. Ten yards still left on second down. Second down, McNabb. And it's grabbed by Crockett Gilmore. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be taken down deep into Patriot territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. Inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Throw on second, McNabb. So quick on the spin. Uh, he's spinning, man. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So 
to the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Watch 80. Watch 80. Single, single. single here we go. Five rounds. Here. One, 90. 58 to Mike, 58. 58 to Mike. From the gun, here's McNabb. That's caught at the two. A gain of six there on first. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really <laughs> nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Crockett Gilmore, there. And it's third and short. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The boot. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. McNabb. And this is going to be incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Now fourth down. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance and they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone, in this compressed area of the field, that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. This will be taken about the 12. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right? And sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. Give them a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a handoff. Here's Hill. <laughs> Legs still churning. Like a giant pinball. And he's brought down. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
That'll do it from here for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Draft Champions here on EA Sports. For more, head on over to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.